Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Now let's talk about the thirteenth problems in chapter two. This problem is a little bit long, so we look at it. It tell us a CD. Look like that, and then are the 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 this CD record information in these circles, and then it starts at the radius R one. So therefore. R1, right? R1. Then to the outer radius, this one we call R2. And then the distance between the third 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 of neighboring is 1.6 micrometers. Ask you to determine the total length of this path. And then it tell you the laser readers just read the CD at a constant speed, one point two five meter per second. Ask us to estimate the maximum playing time of such a CD. So for this problem, we can see from R one to R two, we can find the areas in this region. Agree? And these areas can be calculated by pi r squared, pi r two squared minus pi r one squared. So this region, and we can also consider this region, just uh, uh, combined by these circles. And these circles is just like the squares. It has the length and the widest. So the length and the widest is also can be the areas. So in this one, we can first convert the unit uh, centimeters to meters. So R1 and R2. And then, because the area is constant, so the constant for the area for this one is pi R2 squared minus pi R1 squared. And this is equal to the length of this uh, circles times the widest of this circle. So this one is a W. Is one point six micrometer times the length. How much length of the circles? Therefore, we can find the length for the circles is five thousand four hundred meters. The second problem to us: this CD player's read information at a constant speed, one point two five meter per second, and ask us how much time to play these CDs. So we can see the total length. For this one is five thousand four hundred meters on the CD, and then the velocity is one point two five meter per second. So very easily we can get the time taken is the length, right? The distance divided by speed, we get the time taken is four thousand three hundred twenty seconds. That's all. Thank you.